Every once in a while, I like to download the development weekly version of FreeCAD just to see what interesting new features are coming up. When I did that recently, I found a new feature that looks very useful. It's also highly relevant to the videos I've been recently doing. I say will be because this is the development version. Right there on the startup screen, it tells you do not use for production. Please take that seriously. The development versions can break from week to week on their way to becoming the next stable release. And the only guarantee is that if it breaks something, you get to keep all the pieces. I looked in the sketcher and found that the old familiar external geometry tool is going away. Yes, no more Acme Detonator. It's being replaced by two new features. Create external projection geometry and create external intersection geometry. I'm currently using revision number 39841. That's one of the weekly downloads. To show you the difference, in the part workbench, create a sphere. Make it 50 millimeters in radius. So we can see what's going on. I'll make it 50% transparent. Now create a new sketch on the XY plane. In that sketch, create an octagon centered on the origin. This is probably looking familiar if you've been watching my videos. As before, constrain one of the faces to horizontal to keep it well constrained. Now select the Create External Projection Geometry tool and bring in the edge of the sphere. Constrain the construction circle of the octagon to be equal to the external geometry. Close the sketch. No surprises there. The octagon is fitted perfectly into the sphere. The last time I did this, Pythagoras and the unit circle got involved. I did that because when the z-coordinate of the sketch changed, the radius of the sketch remained the same. You can see that is still the case. The external projection geometry tool works exactly like the old external geometry tool just with a new look for the icon. But now reopen the sketch. Delete the equality constraint. Move the octagon out of the way and delete the external geometry. Select the Intersect External Geometry tool and click on the sphere. We get a slightly smaller circle for the external geometry. That circle is where the plane of the sketch intersects with the sphere hence the name of the tool. Set the construction circle to be equal to the new external geometry and close the sketch. As you can see, the octagon is now sized to fit perfectly within the sphere on the plane of intersection. As I move the plane, the octagon continues to match the size of the sphere. I can tell this is going to be a really useful feature. Notably, it will remove the entire motivation for using a sketch as a function to determine the appropriate radius, though perhaps not the technique in general. I'll show you that in a few issues that it raises in a future video. Meanwhile, I'm going to enjoy FreeCAD and watching it get better week by week. Thank you for watching. If you liked this video or found it useful, please like, subscribe, and share. If there's anything you'd like to see covered here, please let me know in the comments below.